Today I'm joined for Movie Monday. We're gonna have some company. He might be out of, you might be out of frame, bud. If you wanna be in the, the, the Movie Monday, you gotta at least, you gotta pick a spot. You know, you can't just keep moving around. There you go. There you go, see, that's good. Well, today's movie is Broad Peak, which is about a Polish dude who climbs a mountain twice. Because of all these mountain climbing movies I've been watching, I started to get a little bit inspired, you know, and I thought, maybe I should try climbing a mountain. Like, it doesn't look easy, but it looks pretty cool. And then I saw the opening to this movie. <laughs> Nothing makes me want to climb a mountain less than seeing the opening to this movie. Okay, I guess he's done with Movie Monday. It's just us now. Another thing I didn't realize about this movie until like 10 minutes in was it's actually in Polish, but the dub is so good that until you get to scenes where it's like really obvious, it actually sounds really nice. You lose nothing. I could lose you guys. I know when to stop. Right now, sure. Up there, it's different. Andre, you know me. So at the start of the film, our main characters are trying to climb K2, but the weather's just too bad and they're like, you know what guys, we just, we can't do it, you know, there's too much snow. <laughs> I'm not sure if that's actually what the problem was, but basically there's just not good conditions. But the main dude drops this fire line. We came here to climb, didn't we? What a Chad thing to say. Like, you just say that in any situation and you just sound cool. So obviously he ends up going for it anyway and uh, just the visuals in this movie and like the cinematography are out of this world. Like even if you don't like the movie or the plot, if you end up watching it, you can't argue that it doesn't look magnificent. They also have this cool little uh, North Face plug here, <laughs> which is super obvious, but you, know, you can't really complain because at least the plug fits the movie. It's not like uh, Death Stranding with the monster energy drinks that just did not fit at all. Now, while I was watching this, I was really wondering what was so special about this one guy climbing K2, like, it, I mean, it's a huge accomplishment, but a lot of people have done it. So I'm like, why does he get a movie? And then they dropped the bomb on me that he wasn't the first person to climb K2. He was the first person to climb K2 in the winter, pretty much making anybody else who hasn't climbed K2 in the winter look like a bitch. <laughs> if you can't climb a mountain in the harshest conditions possible, why climb it? You know, that's basically his philosophy, and I agree with it. it. It's perfectly sensible. So the main character ends up getting stranded by himself on the side of this mountain, and it's like a blizzard, it's night, he can't see anything, his legs get frozen, and you know, you end up thinking he's probably gonna die, he can't move or anything, but you have to remember what we learned earlier, this guy, not a bitch. So he ends up surviving and actually makes it back down the mountain in one piece. Now this movie did just come out this year, so I'm not gonna uh, give too many spoilers. Obviously, inherently, this, there's gonna be some spoilers, but I'll try to make it so that you can still watch the film. So I'm not gonna tell you everything that happens, but I will focus on some of the key moments, like uh, this awesome rock climber party they have. You know it's a party full of rock climbers when everyone takes turns crimping the door frames to do pull-ups. I feel like personally attacked by this scene right here. They also have this scene where like the main character is going down the stairs in crutches, like full Final Destination style. Like you're just waiting for something to happen and he ends up falling and on one foot he like hops and bounces his way down the stairs. And I really like that they threw this scene in there because you know as far as a climber is concerned, stairs are the best footholds you could possibly have. And no climber would ever be caught dead falling on footholds that good. Now as the movie goes on, they establish that, you know, the main guy is happy, he's got his family, you know, he likes to drive recklessly on the wrong side of the road with his friends, all kinds of fun stuff. But his wife starts to notice something seems a little off about him. So she asks him, you know, is everything okay? And he gives like <laughs> the most <laughs> cliche, everything's not okay everything's okay answer you can give. Is everything okay? I'm fine. 
that's about as much as I can go into the whole movie without spoiling it. But um, in my opinion, I'd say this movie is like a seven and a half out of ten. It's pretty good. I liked it. You know, I didn't think it was like the best thing I'd ever seen, but uh. You know, the real events it's based on are pretty intense and pretty cool. And I thought they did a good job, you know, uh, making it interesting and exciting. And the cinematography was just awesome. I did think that some of the reviews were funny, though, like going through them. Like this review here, this guy, you know, he didn't really have an issue with the movie itself. He had an issue with the fact that these guys climbed without oxygen masks, which is really dangerous. Now, I'm not a mountaineer, so I don't really know how all this stuff works. And I get that they probably were taking unnecessary risk not bringing up oxygen or other safety stuff. It's probably some weird clout thing, right, where you got to do it with the minimum amount of gear. But you can't really criticize the movie because you don't agree with the actual events. Like, the movie is a representation of these events. Like, this guy had nothing bad to say about the film. He's just like, that's such a stupid thing to do. It's like, okay, but like... You shouldn't hate the movie because of it. Like, like I think Nazis suck, but I don't think that every World War II film is bad because they have Nazis in them. And this guy here just really does not like Polish films, I guess. I'm gonna assume that he himself is Polish and just wrote this in English, but uh, this also seems like a bit of a biased review. So would I recommend Broad Peak? Yes, I would say it's a pretty good movie. Does it have any rock climbing? Unfortunately, no. Uh, most mountain climbing movies don't. They mostly either have ice climbing or you know, mountaineering, hiking, whatever you call it when they walk up the snow. Does watching this movie make me want to climb a mountain? Um, no. 